lesson 89, we are going to complete the body of our formal report project. This is section D, the fourth lesson in which we have worked on this report. It's a continuation of report 8862 introduced in the previous lesson. I want you to be sure that you review lesson 89 in the Word Manual. This is 89H in the software Word Processing so that you can work effectively with bookmarks and hyperlinks. And before we begin our report, the first thing we're going to do is type table 8946 separately because this is going to be inserted into the report later. So let's begin by clicking Start Work for Table 8946, the boxed table. It's always a challenge to read handwriting or longhand from a rough draft. So for this table, our work is cut out for us. We can see that we have three columns and 10 rows. So we go to the Insert Ribbon, Insert a Table, three columns, 10 rows, and we start by merging the first row for our title. We are going to set this to be bold and centered. Start by typing table three before we turn on all caps, then foreign city with a hyphen seminars. Press enter once because there is no subtitle. You always need a blank line in the title block. And now that that blank line is 12 point, we're going to go back and change the title to 14 point. Notice I'm going to use the pop-up menu here. This is a handy quick access menu. Then the first column will be column headings that we can set to bold and center for the entire row before we begin. Then we're filling in a list of cities and dates. Now that I've finished entering the data in this table, I'm going to auto fit to contents. So I right click anywhere in the table, pull up the menu, auto fit to contents, I select. Then this table is on a page by itself. So select the whole table center it horizontally on the page, and then double click in the gray area to open the page setup dialog box and move to the layout tab under page vertical alignment, select center and OK. Now save and submit this document to GDP for scoring. Correct it to zero errors before you go on to the last section of the report where it will be inserted. Once table 8946 is complete and scored in GDP, you are ready to begin Business Report 8963. Click Start Work. And notice that as the pattern has continued, this is Report 8862, the saved version, being opened for Lesson 89. Scroll to the end. <coughs> After the last paragraph, press enter two times. We're beginning a section called Religion, Values, and Ethics. Now, I also need to remind you that the yellow highlighted words you see in the textbook are pointing out spelling words that were introduced earlier in the lesson. They're just highlighted here to reinforce their correct spelling. You are not to reproduce that highlighting in your report. If you'll notice here, I have inserted all of the paragraphs up to and including the long quote that you will see at the top of page 363 before the final side heading. I'd like you to press enter twice after that last paragraph. Then we'll go back and set the indentions just as we did for the other long quotes. You move to the paragraph dialog box and under indention, indent it one half inch on the left and on the right click OK. Now place your insertion point after the period at the end of that long quote and we insert our final footnote of the report. Move to the references tab, click insert footnote, 
Footnote number five can now be typed. Be sure that you italicize the book title Business Ethics and Workplace Compliance. Now move back and place your insertion point before the last paragraph mark. Type Tentative Seminar Schedule in all caps, press enter one time, and type the next paragraph. I'm going to make one correction. Place your insertion point before the side heading and press backspace once. The style that we apply is going to insert that extra blank line. I followed the process I did so that the indention would be certain to be at the left margin. So you can experiment however you like as long as you check that the side heading and the following paragraphs are returned to the left margin and not indented like the long quote just above. Now after this paragraph, press enter two times and now it's time to insert our table. This is an application of that word manual lesson that I mentioned previously. So at this point, we move to the Insert tab again. In the Text group, click Object and Text from File. Now you need to navigate to the location where you have stored Table 8946 typed previously. Here is mine. Select it. Click Insert. Isn't that nifty? Okay, now we're ready for the final paragraphs of this report. Okay, our report has now flowed on to page 8. All right, our report has now flowed on to page 8. And we need to pull our checklist back up here to complete some of the remaining steps. We have the quoted paragraph properly formatted. Now we need to do the clip art related to world travel. This is going to be a line at the right margin even with the first line of the first paragraph in the tentative seminar schedule section. So let's scroll back up. Here we are. We're going to insert clip art, search for world travel. This is the one used in the textbook, I believe. I don't think that is similar enough in style to the other previous ones that we have used. So I'm going to select a different one. You are welcome to do the same. I'm going to choose this graphic right here. Let's resize that to one inch. It turns out to be, if we set one dimension at one inch, the other one's going to be one and a half. That's fine. I'm going to right click and set the wrap text style to square. Then I can drag it over to the right and drop it even with the first line of this paragraph. We want to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the alignment of the table underneath it. So be sure to nudge it up just a little bit if needed so that it doesn't throw the table off center. Okay, I believe we are now ready to apply styles. We do have a heading, a side heading in this section. So we click tentative seminar schedule and click heading two. Now we have that necessary space after the long quote and before that side heading. We also have a paragraph heading that we need to catch here, religion, values, and ethics through the period and apply heading three. Now we are ready for the last step of applying bookmarks and hyperlinks. The first one is going to be to apply a bookmark to table one in the table title on page four. Here we are on page four the table title is right here, so place your insertion point just before the word table in the phrase Table 1 Largest International Companies. To insert a bookmark, move to the Insert tab, click Bookmark. You need to give it a name. Remember in the lesson where you learned about setting bookmarks. So we're going to call this Table 1. No spaces. You can put spaces in the titles of bookmarks. Click Add. And let's apply all of our bookmarks first and then all of our hyperlinks. So let's move to number two, add the second bookmark to table two in the table title. Place your insertion point just before the word table in table two. Click insert bookmark. Name this one table two, no space. Click add. The third bookmark is going to be table three in the table title on page seven. Click bookmark, type table three and add. Now we're ready for our hyperlinks. 
back to the instructions, it says add a text hyperlink to the words Table 1 found on page 3, the last paragraph. So we're moving to page 3, the last paragraph where it says Table 1. Select those words, click hyperlink up here in the insert ribbon, links group. Over on the left, we want to say a place in this document. Then we can see all of our headings and all of our bookmarks. We want table one, click OK. And there is the first hyperlink inserted. The second bookmark is going to be added to the word topics found on page eight. So we're moving to the end of the document. Topics is found on page eight, the last paragraph. Here we go. Select the word. When you double click, you select the word with the space following it. It's best to apply hyperlinks just to the word itself, not to the spaces following. So I modified that selection. We move to hyperlink. We're still at places in this document and we apply table two. Click OK and there is our second hyperlink. Now we want to add a text hyperlink to seminars found on page two, the second paragraph. So back we go, page two, the second paragraph and the word seminars. You can use search and find to find that word in this paragraph. It seems to be in the second line here. I'm going to select by clicking at the beginning of the word and hold down shift to click at the end so that I don't get the trailing space. Insert hyperlink, choose table three. Click OK and there is our last bookmark. You need to be careful to save this document at this point in your safe location. Notice even though it's complete, it is still 8862S that we're saving and that's the one we're going to upload for grading in GDP. All right, we can close everything here. Click Browse at the top of the folder where I last saved it, 8862S. And as soon as it finishes loading, we will click Submit Work. Remember, GDP alerts you that this could take several minutes to score. I will be shortening that on the video. Okay, here, when it scored my document, I still have just that one error from the page break that I needed to insert in my document. So be sure that you have corrected all of your GDP keystroking errors to zero, and then you are finished with the body of the report. Now that that is complete, in the next lesson you will be preparing a cover page, a table of contents, and a bibliography for the report. So you have finished a very big project. You should give yourself a hand and get ready for these final pages. Mm -hmm.